Movies have some of the most breathtaking sceneries you'd ever see, especially those about interplanetary travels. But you don't have to visit some imaginary planet when we've got some places here on Earth that will leave you breathless. Is it the world's highest sky corridor, waterfall walkway in China with impressive night lighting? Or mesmerizing Ruyi Bridge? Maybe it'll be the crater of fire dubbed the door to hell that leaves your mouth ajar in disbelief. In this video, we'll bring you 20 unbelievably fascinating places that, if weren't recorded, you wouldn't believe existed. So why don't you get your awesome o meters ready for these amazing places and let's dive into it. 20. Guangdong's Highest Sky Corridor Waterfall When it comes to larger-than-life sightseeing spots on the planet, you gotta visit Guangdong's Highest Sky Corridor Waterfall walkway in China. This giant, racket-like sky corridor located at the Huangtin Gorge in Onyang is known as the Big Rackets by tourists for obvious reasons. The majestic sky corridor is built in such a way that it looks like two tennis rackets positioned across a mountain. Want to know how tall the structure is? It's as tall as a 166-story building. It's a project that cost around 268 million won, an equivalent of about 40 million US dollars. For sure, all that money means the walkway would have a state-of-the-art features, and boy does it have it. It's designed in a manner. It was installed with 450 water nozzles and over 2,000 electric lights on the outermost circular bridge that reacts to the music played. And when you walk along the see-through platform of the sky corridor, you can hear the sound of glass cracking. Even worse, you could look down to see cracks appearing under your feet. But not to worry, it's just one of those special effects of the bridge that sends chills down the visitor's spines. 19. Underwater Waterfall Who wouldn't want to be like this guy, sitting on a plane as you watch how beautifully an island gets sucked into an abyss? First, this is the underwater waterfall of off the coast of Lemorine in Maratesis. And secondly, it's just one of the world's most spectacular illusions. No island is getting sucked into a drain. This dramatic scene you see is just the flow of underwater currents. Once on the shore, you can also see the sand and silt illusion. But for the best views, you'll have to hop onto a seaplane to explore the view from above. 18. Niagara Falls Those that know about the Niagara Falls would agree there's more to the waterfall than just being the world's second tallest waterfall. It's a breathtaking and romantic wonder that gushes over 3,160 tons of water per second, amounting to about 700,000 gallons of water flowing down at around 100 miles per hour. Although the story behind its formation is a bit foggy, many agree that the Ice Age shaped these falls more than 12,000 years ago when the huge chunks broke off North America into Lake Erie and left large cracks which started to fill up, creating what we see and adore today. But it's only when you get there that you'll realize that Niagara Falls comprises three waterfalls. There's the Bridal Veil Falls, the smallest, American Falls, and the Majestic Horseshoe Falls, all located on the border of Ontario Province, Canada. Of course, such a beautiful mystery would attract daredevils who would like to perform extreme stunts to Marvel onlookers. And the Niagara Falls has had some such people, for example, in 1859, Charles Blondin did one of the most daring tightrope walks across it wearing nothing but some pink tights. And more recently, in 2012, Nick Walenda became the first person to repeat the feat in front of a live audience as well as millions who watched around the world. Whether you're out looking for some extreme adventure or just want a sweet romantic getaway for you and your loved ones, the Niagara Falls has got you covered. 17. Ruyi Bridge At first glance, the Ruyi Bridge may come off as a simulated location, which can only exist behind screens. But take a trip to Xianzhu Valley in China's Zhejiang province and you'll marvel at this brilliant piece of architectural design. As if having a weird-looking structure isn't enough, the bridge is made of glass. All of the material you could build a bridge with and they opted for glass? Why build a bridge people would be scared of? Maybe if you aren't such a big baby like me, you'd be able to walk over the bridge. I bet they have adult diaper changing rooms at either end. Once on the mind-boggling bridge, which is 140 meters above a ravine, you'll enjoy the best view of the surrounding colorful hills and valleys. 
16. Jules Shangji Airport, Singapore. Getting stuck in an airport for hours can be a bit of a bummer, but sometimes it can be a blessing in disguise, especially when you happen to get stuck in an airport such as this. Check out the scenes at this place. Extraordinary. No wonder the airport has won the world's best airport award more than seven times. The airport's lifestyle hub is second to none. The Jewel Hub was opened to the general public in April 2019. A massive donut-shaped building, which cost over $1.25 billion to construct, and it's located between the control tower and Terminal 1. The glass part steel structure has loads of amenities, but most notably, it has a rainforest and the tallest indoor waterfall. Can you top that? It also has five underground stories and five above the ground. The waterfall is a rain vortex, a cascading funnel of water drops seven stories through the core of the building. The 130 feet tall waterfall is sourced with rainwater that's recirculated throughout the waterfall. The waterfall also serves as a 3D canvas at night. I wonder if they allow family vacations to the airport. Seriously, you could come up to this airport, set up camp, and never leave. Only that the authorities wouldn't allow it. 15. Rainish Jara Beach, Iceland. Water is wet, roses are red, and beaches usually have gray sand, right? Well, the Reishnafara is unlike any other beach. When other beaches agreed on having gray sand, this beach chose to give Mother Nature the middle finger and became a unique black beach. The picture-perfect and astonishing beach situated on the southern coast of Iceland, closely to the country's capital Reykjavnik, is an unusual beach famed for its black color sand. It's undoubtedly one of the most unique and gorgeous beaches in the world. Its black sand comes from lava flowing across the ocean, which then turns black as it cools and hardens before suddenly breaking apart. Did I mention the beach is near a large sleeping volcano? Yeah, it is. But not to worry, the volcano remains refrigerated under ice. As with soils surrounding volcanic places, the black sand is rich in volcanic materials, pebbles, and stone. There's more that meets the eye than its unique sand. This beach has some awe-inspiring columnar basalt formations that you should totally check out. 14. Munar Kerala Beautiful scenery doesn't have to be an exotic beach, a dazzling waterfall, or a stunning bridge. It can also be an entire town. Say hello to Muna. A picturesque landscape with a refreshing lush green tea plantation, wonderful climate with a whiff of a calm breeze, rich, abundant fauna and flora. It's like a town that didn't age since its time in Middle Earth. Munar is a small town in the Aduki district, located in the western Ghats Mountains range of southern India. Its name Munar means three rivers, and this is because of the three rivers that meet there. The town is noted for being the largest tea growing area in the whole of South India. Aside from growing tea, they have some ravishing flowers, with the wild Nilakarinchi orchids being the most famous of the lot, a flower that only blossoms in 12 years. In all, Munar is a perfect tourist spot for lovers of nature and food. 13. Salar de Uni, Bolivia From one otherworldly landscape to another, the Salar de Uni is out of this world. It's so out of this world it was used as one of the locations in filming Star Wars The Last Jedi. Not just that, it was also used in movies such as The Fall and Salt and Fire. It has a very unique atmosphere, which is a result of having its largest salt flat in the world, spanning an incredible 10,000 square kilometers at about 3,656 meters above sea level. And all of that incredibly flat, salty surface means that it conjures up some amazing mirages, kind of transforms the whole area into a mirror, the largest mirror on the planet. The reflections are so picture perfect that it makes it hard to discern the horizon. This is definitely one strange yet awesome place to be. Plus, you don't have to pack a mirror when coming. 12. Antelope Canyon Before going any further, I'd like to put it out there that there are no antelopes on this canyon, at least from the last time I checked. So who named it that? Eh, never mind. Let's just talk about the place. Off the east of Page, on Navajo Land, Arizona, lies the Antelope Canyon. The canyon has a wavy structure that gives it a unique look and glorious light beams, making it any photographer's dream. 
The canyons were formed by floods and wind that eroded curved passages in the Navajo sandstone. It has two separate canyons, with the upper one being the easiest to access. It also has the canyon you can take beautiful pictures in. However, you can only visit as part of a guided tour as the canyons still flood from time to time. You can see this canyon in movies like Broken Arrow and Samsara, but nothing beats seeing it in real life. 11. Cano Cristales River, Colombia You know one of those places so unique that you need a plane, a boat, a car, and then some hiking to reach? Yeah, the Cano Cristales is one such place. Located in the remote area of Meta in Colombia, this fast-flowing river has brightly and abnormally colored water. They may call it a river, but it has more than that. The waters include waterfalls, rapids, the river itself, and a couple of pools. During its peak season, this extraordinary river dons vivid colors like red, blue, black, green, and yellow. The red color is a result of the river weed, Machinera clavera, which changes from green to red when the water and sun conditions are at a certain level. The other colors are just a combination of water, rocks, and sand. And if you've ever dreamt of fishing in a rainbow pool, well, let's just say you gotta keep dreaming because the Cano Cristales doesn't have any fish. Rainbows would be jealous of this river. 10. Patlian Lake Located in the midst of some exquisite looking red hills and lush green pasture, the Patlian Lake is such a beauty to behold. The fresh air and tranquility it offers are like no other. If you're looking for a place to hike, explore nature, and experience an all-around outdoor experience, then this is definitely a place for you. The Platlin Lake is a relatively unexplored lake that guarantees a lifetime's adventure and one you should visit. One amazing fact about this lake is that it's only accessible in summers because of the heavy snowfalls in winters and is one of the most beautiful lakes in Radi Gali National Park of Pakistan as it is wonderfully covered with red and blue flower beds on the lush green mountains and along with its blue water color it presents a scenery to behold and it also happens to be one of the longest lakes in the neelam valley when you visit the lake in june you'll see the glaciers at a temperature of about 10 degrees celsius accompanied by new spring breezes that precede summer all within hills covered with snow most parts of the year and beautiful landscapes it is definitely a place for every outdoor person 9. Eruption of the Calbuco Volcano in Chile Believe it or not, these were the beautiful, destructive scenes of the eruption of the Calbuco Volcano in Chile. How can something so devastating look so heavenly? It beats me. Although this isn't a tourist spot, not that you'd want to visit anyway. The Calbuco erupted for the first time since 1972 in 2015 vigorously spewing ash and pumice for at least 90 minutes before the lava flow was observed from the main vent. Luckily, the surrounding villages were evacuated in time and all nearly 2,000 people were reported to be unharmed. However, the ash rose at least 15 kilometers above the volcano. Simply amazing. 8. Oai, Greece Arguably one of the most photographed towns in Greece, Oai is a beautiful town located on the northeastern tip of the island of Santorini. The small town has beautiful white houses perched on a cliff. Nothing beats the sunset views of this town. The sunset view is one thing. Oai also offers some fascinating views of the Terracia Island, the Palea Volcano, and the Neocamini. The town is famed for its white-walled stone houses. Better watch where you put your hands. Then there's the Blue Domed Monastery, which has become a symbol of small town Greece. The town may be small, but be sure to take your walking shoes if you visit. You'd have to tackle a flight of 300 stairs before reaching it from the harbor. With such beautiful scenery, I wouldn't mind taking 500 more steps. Uh, easier said than done, I know. 7. Door to Hell Having a fire burning non-stop for 44 years is definitely a sight to behold. And if that fire is burning inside a crater that's 20 meters deep and the size of an American football field, it sure as heck is one of the places you've got to see on Earth. The door to hell is the name given to a massive, natural gas-filled crater with continuously burning fire. 
but its real name, the Derwiz Crater, because it's located in Derwiz Ahal Province, Turkmenistan. But how did a crater manage to sustain fire for over 40 years, and how come no one has tried putting out the fire? Well, the crater was said to have been formed incidentally by some Soviet engineers when they thought it would be a source of oil for the world. Oh, how wrong they were. Unfortunately, after digging the place, they only found a poisonous gas instead of oil. So rather than allowing the gas to travel to nearby villages, they decided to light it up, and it's been ablaze ever since, although they only estimated it would burn for two weeks. Being a fiery hole and all, Canadian explorer George Corinius took it upon himself to be the first person to set foot at the bottom of the crater. Who does he think he is? A firebender? But now the president has ordered for the fire to be quelled and the hole to be sealed to make room for more drilling sites. This is one place to give a glimpse of what hell would look like. But on the bright side, it makes for an excellent campsite, especially for the crater's stunning effect at night. 6. Victoria Falls Also known as the Devil's Pool or the Smoke That Thunders by locals, Victoria Falls is Africa's version of Niagara Falls. It's located on the Zambezi River that forms a part of the border between Zimbabwe and Zambia. The waterfall is over 1,708 meters wide and 108 meters high. It's one of the biggest waterfalls in the world and one of the most beautiful places you could visit. At its peak, an incredible 500 million liters of water crashes down the falls every minute, creating a thunderous roar that can be heard 40 kilometers away. The resulting spray usually rises 400 meters above the falls and causes a permanent cloud of smoke, so you get where all the smoke that thunders is coming from. 5. Canola Flower Fields, Luoping, China Yellow is a bright, alluring color that breathes life into all it comes across. If you're a big fan of yellow, then this is one spot you'll have to visit. Luoping County, in the area of Yunnan, China, is usually quiet for most of the year, until the canola blooms. The fields are grown to produce cooking oil from the canola seeds, also known as rapaceed. Come March, these fields are the favorite spot of bees, tourists, and photographers. So the best time to visit is between February and March when the flowers are blooming. Also at the beginning of the canola season, an annual festival is held to celebrate the flowers, so you could attend that as well. 4. Machu Picchu, Peru When a place rhymes with picture, you can almost bet it will always give breathtaking images every time. Not just that, it also plays an important role in human history by being one of the historic sites. The citadel was built sometime around the 1480s and was abandoned during the Spanish conquest of Peru. It is located on the northeast of Cusho, Peru and offers insight into the Inca people's heritage. To get to Machu Picchu, you'll need to climb a 2,430 meter high mountain. Reaching the summit of the site is on the bucket list of several people for good reason. It gives you the feeling of finding a lost city, bringing out the Indiana Jones in you. 3. Mount Fuji Being Japan's most visited tourist attraction with over 300,000 visitors yearly, Mount Fuji is truly one after the hearts of many outdoor explorers. To think, the mountain can only be accessed for only two months in a year shows how sought after this mountain is. Who wouldn't want to visit a mountain incredibly made up of three separate volcanoes? There's Komatek at the bottom. Kofuji in the middle and Fuji right on top. Did I also mention the mountain is an active volcano? <laughs> Oops, but don't worry about that. The volcano hasn't erupted since 1707 when it erupted for two weeks. That aside, the mountain trails offer an unrivaled view of the surrounding five lakes. It plays a significant to Japan's cultural and spiritual geography. It also offers some hot springs, ideal for easing the aches and pains you might have after a long day's climbing. 2. Old Bagan, Myanmar Here's another place you have to see to believe. Located in Myanmar's Mandalay region, Old Bagan was the capital of Pagan Kingdom. During its time and the peak of the city's dominance, more than 4,400 Buddhist temples, pagodas, and monasteries were built on these plains. 
To date, the ruins of over 3,800 of those structures populate the area, and you can explore many of them on foot. Or you could opt for a hot balloon ride to get an aerial view of the magnificence of this place. It's one of those truly unbelievable places that will leave you breathless. The world's filled with so many waterfalls. Check out the one sent to us by a subscriber. This is undoubtedly one of nature's wonders, just as these other waterfalls. But as you can see, it's a compilation of waterfalls and we couldn't determine if it were real or fake after we did some digging. Let's have a look. Our number one, although it looks very dreamy, is 100% real. One, Panjin Red Beach, China. We've explored just about the most jaw-dropping spots from black beaches to ancient cities to technologically advanced structures. Hope you've got some all left for just one more. Next, we got a beach that isn't covered with sand. Strange, uh, I'll explain. The Panjin Red Beach is not like other beaches. Instead of being covered with sand, the beach is red thanks to a plant that causes the redness, if I can call it that. The Sueda Salsa, or Seepweed, the beach itself is located within the biggest wetland and reed marsh in the world in Liaoning Province. Although the beach is closed to the public, to preserve a small portion of it is used as a tourist attraction center. All right, comment down below which of these beautiful places is your favorite and which you'd love to visit, if you haven't already. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Forever Green, and hit the bell icon for more exciting content. See you in the next one. Peace out.